Now, the culture wars, immigration, gay marriage, abortion, these are issues where many libertarians don't agree. So let's start with immigration. We libertari libertarians tend to believe in open borders. That is freedom, except there's a problem. As Milton, Friedman's, oh. as Milton Friedman said, in principle, you ought to have completely open immigration, but with the welfare state, it's not possible to do that. And that's clearly true with our welfare state. People would come here just to freeload, to get free stuff. Immigrants could bankrupt us. I would also add, you can't have open borders when there are fanatics who want to come here to kill us. So. Immigration, where's the line? David Bowes? Well, I think this may be an area where there isn't a line. This is a country built on immigrants. My family was here before 1776, and we could, I, and we could have said nobody can come in. But for the first hundred or so years, my ancestors and their neighbors didn't put any restrictions on immigration. So when people say, this is a country built on legal immigrants, yeah, because there was no such thing as an illegal immigrant. If you could cross the border, you were here. So, I'm in favor of the rule of law, and you're right, we have to worry about terrorists coming in, so I'm not opposed to checking people who come in. We are a country built on immigrants. Immigrants have always been part of this country. They've been good for this country. There were a lot of people who wanted to keep the Italians and the Jews out. Then some of the Italians and Jews wanted to keep the Hispanics out. Uh, even before that, my people wanted to keep the Germans out, but they didn't. And I think, overall, the country has been better off for it. We could have more legal immigration than we do. Does that mean we have no controls at all? No, probably not. But we could have more legal immigration than we do, and we'd still be a healthy country. To Roy Murdoch. Uh, my mom and dad came from Costa Rica in 1962, and the way they did it is they went to the United States uh, Embassy, filled out paperwork, got their passport stamps and, and stamped and came in legally. That's how I think people ought to come into this country. I'm very much in favor of legal immigration. I think immigrants add a lot to this country and have since we got here, but there has to be some orderly way that people come in here rather than sim simply running across the border. I also think that people who come here for things like student visas and so on, we have this very strange system where when you graduate, you say, okay, thanks for coming, get lost for two years. Uh, we ought to have a green card attached to your diploma if you go to the trouble of coming to this country and getting an education because people like that can add a lot more to the United States. So I'm all for an increase in legal immigration and we have to watch the illegal immigration which is a problem. Wendy McElroy? I think you should either open the borders or you should give back the Statue of Liberty. Uh, you, the overwhelming arguments I hear that have any merit against immigration, free immigration, uh, are hinged upon all the entitlement programs that people take advantage of. You should be attacking the entitlement programs and not these poor immigrants who are coming over here through the sweat of their brow to make a better life for their children. Um, frankly, I think that would take about 90 percent of the arguments away from immigration, and then the rest of the 10 percent I see a great deal of racism in. Uh, if, in if, in fact, you were to uh, open the borders, I don't think it would have any effect on terrorism at all. Uh, the terrorists who came across came across legally. Right now you have uh, uh, laborers who have no education coming across from Mexico en masse. Don't you think a well-trained, well-educated terrorist could come across uh, any time he wanted if in fact we can't stop this poor illegal immigrant? I should add that Wendy is from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> When she says you should give well, the Statue lived of in Liberty the United, back. I've lived in the United States most of my adult life. <laughs> Jeffrey. I'm in favor of vastly expanded, if not immigration, if not open borders. This is one area where I think Milton Friedman got it backwards. We should open the borders in order to eliminate the welfare state. If lots more people are coming here, the populace will start realizing that they don't want to spend tons and tons of money supporting people who may not be exactly like in the moment, and they will vote to reduce welfare, reduce Medicaid, reduce Medicare. And, and in, in addition to the fact that all those people will pay taxes, all the evidence is that immigrants Okay, are not welfare magnets. They do not rely on the welfare system more than natives. They do, they do not, okay? And so the best way to reform the welfare state is actually to have many more immigrants. It's good to have an active audience. <laughs> it's like a revival tent in here. Gay marriage. Uh, the really ideal scenario is that there's no government defined or supported marriage at all. 
But since it's very unlikely we're going to get rid of that, uh, as a libertarian, I'm strongly in favor of legal gay marriage. Now, focus on the family, says proponents of homosexual marriage have yet to prove that children, families, and society will benefit from redefining all this tradition. I think it's all about uh, two people's happiness. It's not about what society thinks. Now, if we're talking about uh, people underage, that's one issue. But if these are consenting adults, I don't think the government has Absolutely. anything to say about it. Absolutely. This is none of their damn business. President Obama, not in favor of gay marriage. Strong civil unions that people draw lines. I, 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 supporting civil unions and not marriage is just a way of saying, you can't have this. This belongs to us. It is exclusionary. And I would just ask President Obama to think about how he would have felt if in 1965 the government had said a black man and a white woman can have a civil union, but they can't be married. That's different. One of the problems is that there is, by law, an entitlement programs that are embedded into businesses where if your spouses uh, are, are entitled to health insurance and, and other then you get, sure. business, you get it too. And the way business is right now, it's just going to be another burden that's put on businesses. I think you should eliminate those laws that mandate that marriages mean that, that there are burdens placed on business and just privatize marriage. I also hear a lot of people uh, talk about defending marriage, the Defense of Marriage Act, and so on. You never you hear very little uh, from these folks who are defending marriage, traditional marriage, about uh, divorce, about all the problems heterosexuals have created uh, in the marriage area. And if you really want to defend uh, marriage, why not just have a constitutional amendment banning divorce? I would take care of it. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to abortion. Let's move on to that. Should abortion be legal? I think most libertarians think abortion should be legal, but not all do. And I think you have two views among libertarians. Some say the purpose of government is to protect life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life comes first. Other libertarians say, but liberty, it's about a woman's right to control her body. And the most interesting thing I think about, I'm not sure libertarians have had anything terribly original to say, except that what I find is that libertarians on both sides of this issue respect the other position more than a lot of people in the pro-life and pro-choice camps, because I think we can understand the case for life and the case for liberty. Wendy? I am pro-choice. Now, it's very true that not all, all libertarians are, but as far as I'm concerned, this is my skin. Everything beneath this skin belongs to me, or I don't own anything. I am a self-owner. Even if there is a living being inside you. If there is a living being inside me, and I, I'm glad you use the word being rather than, than individual with rights. If there's a living being inside me, it exists on my breath, it exists by my, the blood plumping through my veins, by the food I eat. It is within my skin. And if you say to me that, there, that I do not have jurisdiction over my own body, that in fact society or some, some more, someone else has jurisdiction, the, the word that describes someone else owning my body is slavery. To Roy Murdoch? Well, I think the issue is that uh, w w obviously women have their own bodies, but there's something else in there when we're talking about fetuses. And it's either a human being or at least a potential human being. Uh, there's a difference between an abortion and a, and a pedicure. This isn't just tissue. If it were just tissue, then fine, no problem. But uh, as far as I've seen, when women get pregnant, uh, they don't, uh, they don't uh, deliver uh, uh, puppies or kittens. They deliver human beings. And I think yeah. the, uh, the fight uh, for life is really about protecting either human life or potential human life. And I think a lot of this gets wrapped up with a lot of religious issues and we're saving the soul of the, of the fetus. I'm not a religious person. I don't think this has anything to do with religion. It has to do with defending uh, what is essentially a human child, just as you would if it were a, 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 an hour or two after it were born. It would be the same thing an hour or two before it's born. This is one issue where libertarians disagree. I would say the majority are pro-choice, but not unanimity.